guys, welcome to a new video on my channel, Zest for Life. Um, today I'm going to be showing you two delicious breakfast recipes that I love to make on, you know, once a week or a daily basis. Um, they're vegan, they are healthy, low carb, kosher, and um, really easy to make. Um, and before we get into it, just wanted to introduce my daughter. This is Shirelli. She's a big feature on my blog. I like to talk about her. And um, she has taught me a lot about parenting. And besides food, I talk about parenting advice, uh, get into some questions, into some tough issues. And um, yeah, so check out the blog for more on that. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so Shirelli, what are some of your favorite recipes? Well, I really like the vegan sesame Okay. And I yeah. also Those are really, really good. like the, I really like the Greek pesto. Oh, really thank you. Okay, and both of those recipes are linked below, so check them out. It's great. Um, <laughs> thank you, Shirelli. Um, okay, so say goodbye. Bye. And now we are going to get into the video. I'm going to show you how to make these two recipes, a blueberry cashew smoothie and a chocolatey waffle. That sounds way more decadent um, and unhealthy than it is. It's actually pretty good for you. Um, yep, we put a lot of healthy and yummy ingredients inside. And I hope you enjoy the video. So for the chocolatey waffles, you will need whole wheat flour, coconut flour, almond flour, cocoa powder, pinch of salt, baking powder, baking soda, and cinnamon. And optional, you can also add a little bit of shredded coconut. And then we put in two overripe bananas. Just add it right in there with your dry ingredients. And this is what they look like. You want them to really be brown so you have the sugars come out. And then we're putting in unsweetened applesauce. Half a cup to a cup. And unsweetened almond milk. This time I used original. I often like to use unsweetened almond milk or co almond coconut milk mixture. So you need about a cup of that. Now it might be a little bit dry at first, especially if you have coconut flour in there. It needs more moisture. So you just add your plant milk or dairy milk as needed. And uh, I've had my waffle iron preheating, so now I'm just adding some cooking oil and some of my batter right in there and I'm just gonna wait for it to make my delicious chocolatey waffles and you can add chocolate chips in at the end right before you put it into your waffle iron and then it's really delicious with strawberries on the side and next we have our blueberry cashew smoothie so First, I'm preparing my dates. Um, you only need about two for this recipe, but they are key in the flavor and the sweetness. So I'm opening them up. Whether they're pitted or not, you wanna open them up and make sure that they are clean inside. Take out your pit. This is what they should look like. Just add a little bit of hot water to soften them up quickly. And I want frozen banana chopped spinach. I'm adding my chopped spinach, uh, wild blueberries. So of course you can really use any kind of blueberries you want. Um, frozen is the best and any kind. And the cashew butter, I put about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. Or just a big nice glob. Then I'm adding my dates and my almond milk. You'll need about a cup to a cup and a half of almond milk. Um, again, to your liking, uh, depending on how thick you want your smoothie to be. Um, so here I probably did about a cup and a half. And the blueberries I did about half a cup of, but it also depends on what size your frozen blueberries are. Um, and with this, this new blender is so cool. Definitely one of my favorites I've had. Um, so there's a counter on the bottom and you just set it for where you want it. And I got my nice, beautiful blueberry cashew smoothie. Filling out my favorite glass. I just love the color and the icy frothiness of the smoothie. 
and it definitely fills me up. And that's it for our blueberry smoothie. You can definitely top it with anything you like. I just added some frozen blueberries on top. Okay guys, so that's it for those two breakfast recipes. I hope you enjoyed. I'm definitely gonna be coming at you with way more breakfast recipes, uh, lunches, dinners, snacks, what I eat in a day. So um, like and subscribe below. Tell me what you'd like to see, um, any questions you have for me. All my recipes are kosher. Some are vegan, some are vegetarian, some have meat in them or dairy products. So I kind of do a combination. I kind of try to keep my diet and my family's diet a little bit equal in all areas. Um, and sometimes I really just like light meals. I like having the option of vegan. Um, and since I'm allergic to eggs, that opens up my world more. And I love being creative and coming up with recipes. So um, way more coming to you guys. So thank you for watching.